by one of our local favorites, Below Key. Below Key is one of my favorite guys in the business today because he's old school and still has a really good sense of the world around him. This is our perfect wish for bodega here. He also does a lot of merch, so remember what I said. Check out those tags and check out what you can find that he has for sale. Support your artists. He's also known for being a permanent fixture at Brooklyn Bazaar, for being a permanent fixture here in this neighborhood. He's still very much missed by a great deal of people that live in this area. This piece, by the way, was done by Zimmer, another one of our Brooklyn born and raised artists and graph writers. How's it going, man? Can I get a large ice coffee? So they put up murals in cities all over the country and all over the world for Project Red. Now a little bit about something about Dragon 76. If you've never seen this guy paint or draw live, you are missing out. He is probably one of the most insane live artists I've ever watched. Um, he blows my mind. Every single time I see him, no one can compete with him when it's drawing live. So this is Dragon 76 and a piece he did for Project Red. Now, everything you can say has probably been said about BK, but I will put it this way. 
artists from all over the world are going to use lots of different techniques to put up a wall. Some of them are going to come out the night before, they'll have this on their computer and they'll actually project onto the wall. Other artists are going to use grids. Some of them are going to use all these different tricks, not BK. Everything is done by hand, on the wall, just looking at a reference photo and putting it right back on the wall. So this is BK Fox and Nipsey Hussle. several years now is by Dasik Fernandez. Now Dasik is from Santiago in Chile. If you ever get a chance to go to Santiago, you need to check out one of his major works. They've painted an entire road through the middle of downtown Santiago, all in colors. So it's a river of color down through the middle of Santiago done by Dasik. A piece by Romero. He used to call himself Truco Studios until everybody started pitting him up on the street and calling him Truco, so he'd never answer them. So they all thought he was being rude. It's just he didn't recognize it as his name. So this is Romero. He has an incredibly cool style. The second you see his work, you're gonna recognize it. I really love when I find pieces by Romero. Pops art. You've got his bunny, which has kind of become his signature over the years, but you've also got a really good window into how incredibly talented this dude is. So if you're looking for somebody to do a portrait for you, he's the one of the men you should call because he does incredible work. And in this case, this one is very timely because this wall was done for what we're all dealing with now, COVID. As you can see, even over here, he's saying, wash your hands or no dinner for you. But here's the message we want to get out. This is us right here. Be positive, we will get through this, and New York is strong.